the world wanted to know who I am, it's really quite simple. I'm here to serve my God and to serve my family and to serve others. It's hard, but if I'm a true follower of Christ, that's what he's called me to do. And uh, I love doing music, but I don't love it as much as I love my God. singing when I was about seven years old with my mom and dad and my little brother. And uh, we sang in a lot of places, nursing homes, banquets, churches, gospel sings, uh, every once in a while a TV station here and there. What kind of music does a rainbow make? I have video of me uh, singing when I was a kid with my family. And uh, I, it's real interesting for me to watch. I don't think I was ever that small or uh, Ever didn't have facial hair, but apparently it's true. Money will return, and what glory that will be will be gone forever. When all is lost, the ship has left its course. At one point, I stopped playing music because I think at one point in my life I was tired of of church. I was tired of tired of God and uh, tired of the whole religious scene. You know, they always say light's the brightest when it's the darkest. And uh, there was a time when I was a jerk, plain and simple. But during that time, our second son was born. He was born with a medical condition where his intestines were on the outside. And up to that point, I was a terrible husband, terrible father. And when it came time for him to be born, there was nobody around. I'd pushed everybody so far away that the only person I could call on was God. And when we did, he answered. Our son came out of surgery quicker and better than we ever expected. And God made himself real to me and my wife. Me writing songs uh, for this album and otherwise are all a little piece of me. So when I write, what you see and what you hear is who I am, uh, including uh, the song Ways Unseen. It's a song about a girl who's having a hard time in life, and she's alone. And although my wife and I were married at the time, I was, like I said, a terrible husband. She was really having to go through things alone. She didn't have me to depend on, but she had God, and she knew that he worked in ways unseen. And uh, that's one example. Uh, there's another song, Learning to Live. And the fact that once I made this change, I had to learn to live all over again. I had to learn to live for other people. I had to learn to live for God. Uh, and, and of course, you are my God. The fact that I may be up and down, but the mutability of God that he doesn't change. And I may be all over the place, but his love and his grace and his mercy are gonna be constant and steady and there no matter what. Man, it's my responsibility to share them with everybody else. God didn't work in my life as a secret. It was a real blessing hooking up with Trackstar Record Works. Uh, DJ McKee, Dave McKee, and Michael O'Mardian. Working with Michael O'Mardian uh, doing this record, uh, what, what can you say about the guy? He's, he's incredible. Um, he makes things seem so effortless when he's making a, an album. The ideas that he comes up with and the, uh, the different arrangements, the different chords, I, it's just, it's, it's hard to imagine that all that can be kept inside one head. If I had 15 seconds to talk to the world, I'd tell them, hey, Jesus is the Son of God. B, if you want to know something about me, I'm just a guy trying to be like him. And hopefully that's what you hear in my music, is a guy who's tired of putting on facades, God's made himself real in my life. Why can't I be real for God's life?